I'm kidding. It's not actually that heavy. It's it's uh fairly light. Anyways, today we're gonna talk about none other than the Frog Weather Station. Which, if I flip the box around, you might have a better picture of it. But the reason I'm going to talk about it is not just so that you can monitor your weather data, but so that you can actually earn some passive income. Now, that's going to happen through a project that I've covered on this channel in the past, and that is called the Fry Foundation, which basically provides a bunch of deepen services. Or if you're new to this, I've been covering these deepen projects now for almost three years because it's a fun, usually low power, noise free and heat free way to mine cryptocurrency. Anyways, let me, let me just put this aside for now. What's up, peeps? It's your boy Marcel, aka Smoke Calm. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm wearing the Revelot Gentis, which I'm starting to really, really like with that rose gold. Can't go wrong with a nice, classy watch. But let's get into it. First things first, I, I said in the intro, Fry Foundation. Now, I've covered some of them in the past. You probably saw one of my videos or some other YouTubers' videos covering the Fry Foundation if you're into cryptocurrency and crypto mining. We're on the landing page of their website right now, and when you go ahead over to shop, you can see there's a bunch of different miners that you can get into in order to generate yourself some nice passive income. Now, the one that we're interested in today is going to be none other than the weather miners. Now, Fry usually has two levels of miners that you can purchase for a specific task. So like today, our task is going to be mining the weather. So for this one, there's going to be the low end weather miner and the high end weather miner. Today, we're taking a look at the high end one, but don't stress it because in a couple days, I'll have a video out covering the low end weather miner. The thing being, the low-end weather miner earns 107 Fry tokens daily for $250, whereas the high-end weather miner, this one right here that we're covering today, actually earns 215 tokens every single day for 200 bucks extra. So you are getting way more bang for your buck. When ordering one of these, you are going to have to select your frequency because it does depend where you live. If you're in the US, you'll go with US 915. EU, you can go 868, Australia, but I'll let you figure that out. Let's say you were ordering a US 915, you click add to cart, and if you actually use promo code SMOLCALM right here, you see that you get a nice 15% off. I am based in Europe. That's why the shipping is so high. It should be way cheaper for you. But basically, you're going to get around 45 to 67 dollars off your order. Anyways, how about you say we start unboxing this, actually putting it together, and then we'll start running some math on return on investment times, how many tokens it actually earns daily compared to what's said on the website. And then we'll compare that to the dollar value. So like your actual real world passive income. Well, first thing first, you can see that I got a frog it. So that's the brand, right? Now, depending on when you order and what's available at the time logistically, you might receive a different brand, but they all go through the same exact process of onboarding. It's just gonna be maybe a different app on your phone. What I'm saying is, don't stress it if you receive a different brand, it does the exact same thing and earns the exact same amount of tokens. Let's get to opening this. I have already opened this in the past because as you can see, it goes on a mounting pole that is not in the box. So I had to go get a mounting pole. Opening the box, you get greeted by this like protective cardboard that we'll take out right now. Dude, I got to stand up for this. Damn, we'll put this box aside. And as you can see, you've got a couple different things in the box. Now, this was protected with plastic. I, I just didn't put it back on for the unboxing, but your main element is going to be this, the actual weather station. Okay, taking a closer look at it, this part right here is going to be in order to collect rain water to know exactly how much like it's pouring. Right here, you've got a balancing bubble. I'm not exactly sure how you call that in English, but it will basically allow you to balance this thing perfectly on a pole. Coming to this side, you can see that there's two little spikes, one at the top, one at the bottom, and we actually have to put these together. The first one's going to be actually like for the wind. So let me take this out of the plastic. There is a little screw right there in order to secure it. So let me go get a screwdriver. That is going to be none other than a hex screw. So 
basically that kind of screwdriver let me untighten this real quick i think that should be enough yeah that's almost coming out and then i'm gonna take the weather station pop it on top bam and secure that screw i should probably use a table to do this but i didn't want to move my camera around so i mean i guess this works okay that's secured not going anywhere i didn't tighten it too much and basically what that's gonna do is the wind's gonna push this around and it's gonna calculate the speed of the wind. But small calm, what is speed without direction? You can go fast, but if you don't know where you're going, it's kind of useless. Well, yeah, that's where the bottom part comes into handy. So let's unpack this one right now. Same thing, we've got a securing screw, and this is basically gonna act as a wind that's gonna like spin in the exact direction of the wind. Undoing that screw right now. Dude, 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 dude. Oh, shit. I think I found it. Yeah, guys, the, the lights are actually just, like, for the background. I don't live with these lights on. I do have other lighting. Uh, this is my living room, after all, so. Wait, is this the wrong screw? Do I have, like, just too many screws under my desk? Yeah, that was not the right screw. Under the desk, we go again. Oof. Yes, I'm, I'm wearing shorts. It actually gets kind of hot in here uh, when I'm recording because everything's closed down so I get the best audio. And I mean, guys, don't act like y'all never did a Zoom call with a shirt on and just your boxers, okay? Dude, don't lose it again. Come on. Get in there. Wait, is this not the right screw as well? Dude. Okay, okay. Two screws, uh, still not the right one. <sighs> got it. Only took me like 20 minutes, but I got it. It only took 40 years. Phew. Okay, so as I was saying, there's a screw to secure this thing as well. So I'm gonna pop it in there and very carefully screw it a little bit more back in. So obviously I'm going to try to get the screw on the flat side to make sure that it does not have any chance of moving at all. And if I pull on it a little bit, it doesn't move. Okay, so now we've got pretty much everything assembled. This thing spins, this thing spins, no assembly needed here. Now obviously if you want to clean it, you can just go ahead and twist this, take it out, clean it. You can see inside there's a little cup. And then once you've cleaned it, you just put it back in and twist. I said that the mounting pole is not included in the box, so I had to go get one. I personally went with some PVC pipe because mine's not that long. Okay, guys, I just realized that sounds stupid. Please no jokes about my pipe. And the circumference of the pipe that you're going to need if you want it to fit exactly right in here is going to be 50 millimeters, as you can see right there on the pipe, because that fits just like perfectly. Bam. Now, obviously, there's going to be mounting brackets, etc., etc. But before we do that, we might want to actually put batteries in this thing. We're back. I found two AA uh, standard batteries that are going to go right in here. Number one and number two. We're going to go ahead and put this back right there. And I'm going to put the screw back in before I lose it. Even if this one's bigger, like, with my screw losing qualities, I could probably search for it for another 30 minutes, so. Bam. Okay, I guess that's it for the weather station for now. I'm going to set up the indoor monitor, which if you want to take a closer look at it, after I peel off the satisfying plastic, has a couple things. It looks like the screen's cut out in a couple different manners in the back. There's buttons right here and a little, I'll also find a little stand. Is this a stand? Yep. Okay. That looks like a stand. And then 
this is probably going to be a Wi-Fi antenna. I'm going to go ahead and complete the setup off camera and then I'll bring you into what you need to do in order for this to start earning Fry tokens. Okay, obviously this thing isn't yet on a pull. I haven't calibrated it so that it's pointing to the west just yet. It's not horizontally mounted, but you can see that the screen actually turns on. And so right here we've got wind speed. If I go ahead and do this, you'll see the wind speed start to actually increase right there so my arm is capable of going four kilometers per hour apparently anyways i don't i don't want to stress this too much let's move on to the next part the interesting part how do i get this thing to start making passive income following what's said in the documentation that i got with the weather station it asked me to download the ws view plus app that's what i did i'm going to open it right now I already put this in Bluetooth mode. It's like a simple press of two buttons. And now it's asking me to select which device I want to pair. And now I'm basically looking for the Bluetooth of uh, that device. I've just found it right now. So I'm connecting to the device scanning app list. I want to oh, upload firmware. Okay, well, looks like I'm running an update on that little screen. So I set the monitor up in the WS app. It's finalizing its connection. The next thing I had to do was to go to ecowit.net and register my device, which was as simple as allowing it to capture the location of this computer because the station's basically at the same place that my computer is. Please use the correct coordinates for that. Otherwise, the weather data will be off. And then it also asked for my Mac address, which I'm hiding behind this banner right here. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is to actually register this as a miner. So we're back on the Fry Foundation website. I go to Hardware Miner Resources, Registration, and High End Weather Miner. I click here and it says, before you fill out the information below, please go to weatherfryfoundation.com and link your ambient weather o eco wit account to our ecosystem. So. I just created my Ecoid account. I'm gonna go ahead and go to weather.fryfoundation.com. Here it's gonna ask me to connect a wallet. Personally, I'm gonna go with Para Wallet. Okay, so now it's asking me what kind of weather station I have. Do I have a Weather XM? Do I have a Froggit, an Ecowit, or an Ambient Weather? So mine, as we saw, was a Froggit, and it actually connects to Ecowit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here, and it's asking me for my API key as well as my app key. Now, in order to get those, all I have to do is go to my EcoWit dashboard. I go right here and I click user profile. Then you can see API keys. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. Now, it's going to ask for a label. So I'm just going to label mine Fry Outdoor Weather. I want an API key. So I'm going to leave that selected and click save. I'm going to get my API key, which is blurred for you guys for obvious reasons. And I'm going to post that right here. And then it's asking me for the app key. So same as with before, I'm going to create and I'm going to create an app key, which is going to be the same as before fry outdoor weather. Description is required. I'm going to go ahead and do fry foundation save. That gives me an app key, which I'm just going to copy and paste into here then click submit submitting key successfully linked your api key to your wallet we will soon begin to retrieve data from your weather station or devices now that's all great right but i still have to register the miner so i go right here first name i'm going to enter small cam last name i'm going to enter small cam obviously in your case you're going to do this with the information that you put in when you ordered these devices once you've entered everything properly you go ahead and click on the submit and in just a couple seconds it should tell me well hey we're registering it it's going to take 24 to 48 hours thanks for registering your miner please note it may take up to seven days okay until you begin to see rewards please make sure that your wallet you registered has at least 10 algo in it and i have opted into fry's crypto now i have most of these things done and from personal experience it takes way less than seven days okay small cam you may have bored us to death with like how you set this thing up what are the rewards like how how much dollars am i going to get into my pocket daily from running this high-end weather miner well 
Let's take a look at it right now because it's not as straightforward as you might think. Now, all regions gets rewarded the same, so it doesn't matter where you're based in the world. But one thing that matters is the white paper tier for the device. This one's going to be tier one. And in the white paper, we can see that tier one gets 215 tokens every single day. Except as of right now, that is not true. It's actually a good thing that it's not true. Because if you keep scrolling down a bit more, you can see a page called Rewards Multiplier and multiplier effect on base reward. When the market price of fry falls below one cent of the dollar, the base reward earned by participants is doubled, meaning multiplied by two. So since the price of fry right now is right under one cent, we're talking like right under one cent, instead of earning 215 tokens a day, this earns 430. Now 430 fry tokens is around $4.28 a day. And if we run a little bit of math, meaning we pull out something called a calculator and we do 430 times 30 days or a month, that gives us 12,900 tokens, which is exactly $129. Now, keep in mind, this is with the price of fry being under one cent. We've seen it really start to pick up and go up, but we've seen a correction recently. Now, I'd love for it to stay under one cent for a couple weeks, because that would mean that when it goes back up to like 2.2 cents, 2.3 cents, all those mine tokens will be worth more than double what they are right now. And I talked about return on investment. So let's say that we stay under one cent for a couple more weeks and that we're getting $129 a month. Well, Remember that with promo code SMOKEHELM, you get 15% off your order. So the weather station's $450. Let's add 20 bucks for shipping, right? 470. Now minus 15%, that's gonna be $399.50. Divided by what it earns monthly, $129. That's three months return on investment 90 days for a miner that only costs 400 dollars shipped now i don't know if y'all realize how crazy this is but the other miners that make around four dollars a day at the normal electricity rate of 20 cents per kilowatt hour are going to be around here so a bit main ant miner l7 and those are currently going for over a grand we're talking 1200 to 1000 well actually to like two thousand dollars five thousand dollars uh people are going a bit insane but this is as profitable as something that costs three times even four to five times the price furthermore it does no noise it uses almost no electricity you can actually power this just through like usb cable the only limitations is that you can only set up one outdoor miner at a given location but let's say you have family and you want to set it up at their location good then you can set up two three four five ten of these they're super plug and play if i hadn't lost the screw under the desk it would have taken me way less time to set this up but i'd say it took me around 20 minutes if i wasn't recording at the same time now if you don't think that these are cool i don't know what to tell you because personally I'm, I'm in love with them i tell all my friends about them I even, have, I even have a fry camera right here pointing out the window at all times. That earns me some more tokens every single day. If you have any questions, please drop them down below in the comments. As usual, it was your boy Marcel, aka Smokehelm. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll catch y'all in another one. Peace.